Next on the fucking conversation docket is this. Am I the only person that thinks stuff like this is one of the greatest lies ever told? And I don't know why this is. This is kind of similar to me, to like women who like unnecessarily lie about, you know, cosmetic surgery. I've never understood that thing. Like I'd rather just take the, fi the fact that I did something to myself, to the grave and not have to even talk about it then just lie, especially to other women, because other women and maybe gay people, they always can suss it out, right? They always can tell who got work done and who didn't get work done. So the idea that you would lie about it is very bizarre. But I find one of the greatest lies women ever tell is this lie, the lie that they somehow get turned off by guys that are in shape. It's like, huh? Why would you get turned off by a guy that's in shape? I think it's just a fun thing to say on the internet. Um, but I don't think in real life it actually is true because we've seen videos of what women do when a guy that walks into a room is really in shape and well put together. Do you know what I mean? They can't help but salivate, um, which is okay. It's perfectly fine. Same thing for a dude. If you see a woman work down the street with a flipping massive ass, you just can't help but look. But this this like blatant lying is just unnecessary. So this is courtesy of the Shea Borough. This person is a doctor allegedly, an MD, but again, it's Twitter. You can put whatever you want in your name. This person says in a tweet, I cannot say enough how this body type is a picture of Andrew Tate, maybe only attractive to gay men. So allegedly only gay men like guys who are in good shape. Pfft. I have literally turned down dates with gym bros with ripped abs and past um, in the past because I find this body type suggestive of an aggression and narcissism. I bet other women feel the same. What? So this woman is suggesting that because guys work out, that must mean they're abusers. That must mean they're narcissists because they dare to what? Get themselves in shape. They dare to be healthy. They dare to try to transform their bodies um, and or maybe, you know, try to look the best that they can look that somehow means that they're aggressive and that they have narcissistic tendencies or something. Are you insane? If anything, this is probably some of those people I am imagining now speaking aloud or thinking aloud. This is probably one of those ladies that just probably doesn't like men anyway, which is perfectly fine. You can like and dislike who you want. You know, you can, you can dislike people based on their genders. You can dislike people based on their sexuality. You can dislike people based on their fucking race. Whatever you want to do, hate as much as you want. Just don't cry when somebody slaps you in the face. That's all I've always said. Just don't cry when somebody slaps you up in the face. But clearly she's somebody that doesn't like men, which is perfectly fine. Do what you want to do. But then you can't just make these broad sweeping generalizations when at the heart of it the reason why you're saying this is because in general she's probably a bit conflicted as to why she likes women why she doesn't like women but then can't, doesn't know why she doesn't want to maybe date women to kind of get away from the men but why the men that she's always attracts are the ones that she doesn't like i think that could, that could be a really hard place to kind of be and figure out so i kind of get why she's you know a bit conflicted but let's not lie. Let's not lie and act as if like, you know, not being in shape is going to be a real difference maker for most dudes. Like I think because, you know, most guys, we don't have makeup, right? So we don't really have a ways to kind of, you know, improve our face and our grills exponentially. We don't really have that. The only thing that guys really do have is what? Working out, haircuts and beards and maybe like style and maybe a lot of smell and stuff. But we don't have anything cosmetically we could do that could really you know take us from looking like a one to a ten really so the things that we do have available like the gym like having a good haircut like maybe growing your beard or something um whatever making you know improving your personal hygiene your skincare all this stuff we're going to obviously do it because it's going to increase your ability or it's going to increase your options of who you can maybe eventually quote unquote date or hook up with in the future so that makes complete sense and who wouldn't want to be with somebody who kind of is able to kind of you know put themselves together in a in a particular way who maybe does have a inkling of like self-discipline who maybe is able to commit to a program whatever maybe that should probably show you that somebody you know that person is maybe a little bit serious um you know they're, they're taking their health serious they're doing whatever they're doing but i think maybe the real problem here is that she used maybe the you know the andrew tate picture as an example maybe there is something to be said for maybe just Andrew Tate being so toxic and women just not liking everything about him. Cause I feel like Andrew Tate is like the white Kevin Samuels. I feel like, again, I'm not, not to be a bad man to say this, but I feel like if he ever does get put into prison or if he ever does die or something, I feel like women online are going to be celebrating the way they celebrate Kevin Samuels. Cause I didn't know, I really didn't know women didn't like Kevin Samuels until he died. 
when Kevin Samuels died, I was surprised to see how much hate, how much hate, how much hate um, they fucking had for Kevin Samuels. They were celebrating. They were jumping, you know, for joy when he passed away. So I think maybe because Andrew Tate is so toxic, women just don't like anything about him. But I have heard um, this common adage being described on the social media about straight guys, right? And and I, sometimes there's some truth to it about um, people saying uh, that most straight dudes are quite, quite homoerotic in the stuff that they're into, from like the football, sport culture, to like the gym stuff, to hanging out with your boys all the time. There's something oddly homoerotic about like really, really straight men, which is kind of, you know, it's very um, insulting and rude and unnecessary, but maybe there is some truth to it. Um, the next slide here, she a tweet of Andrew Tate going back to her saying, I'm super disappointed that I'm not attractive to you, Kriti. Kriti. I was only trying to make my arms as big as your nose. Oof. Okay. okay. He's kind of lame, isn't it? That's the thing about Andrew Tate. He is kind of lame. You, kinda, you can kind of understand why women don't like him. He's kind of fucking lame, isn't he? Like, what? I was only trying to make my arms as big as your nose. Is that the best you could do? Come on, bro, man. She destroyed everything about you. She called into question. She basically said, because you lift weights, that you're that you're a fucking abuser. <laughs> she destroyed all of us gym bros, right? She kind of buried all of us with that tweet. And the best you can do is say your arms are big as her nose. It's like, come on, man. You gotta come harder than that. No pause, but you gotta come harder than that. You really have to come harder. But hey, what can you do? Um, what can you do? But I do think women that say this sort of stuff anyway, I'm not really into guys that work out too much. All the big muscles is just a bit too much for me. It's like, bro, maybe the majority of women don't actually get talked to by guys who are really in shape anyway. So you've never even experienced that. And if you do, I don't think a lot of women would actively try and turn it down because, you know, whatever. I have heard of women say, oh, I'm not into guys that play professional sports because it takes up too much time. And usually they're going to not be able to like, you know, drink and go out for dinners and stuff. That makes a lot of sense. If you're in a professional sports team, that makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, why maybe that might be a red flag. But I think for the most part, looking after yourself and being in, you know, and taking care of your health shouldn't be a bad thing. Really and truly, it should be maybe encouraged. We shouldn't get into a world where we're basically trying to push the whole fat, fat acceptance things down men's mouths and stuff. Uh, that isn't cool. Yeah, I mean, if, if as a guy you want to provide and look after a woman who may be a bit big, then that's on you. But I think as a dude, you kind of owe it to yourself and to being the quote unquote protector and leader of your family or leader of the household to be in somewhat good physical shape so that you can look after them. You know, if ever danger, if any danger comes their way, you can actually step in there, you know, like a fucking human shield and obviously go down for them, you know, and, and obviously they won't thank you for it because you're dead, but at least you did it. You know what I mean? <laughs> at least you fucking did it. At least you fucking did it. Moving on from that one. Moving on from that one. I quickly want to talk about this because I thought this was maybe, maybe, quite possibly and seriously one of, if not the most stupid bits of controversy that I've ever seen detailed on the old timeline here. Let me see if I can get a hold of it. Bear with me a second if I can truly kind of find it here. Um, I think most of you have probably seen it yourselves anyway. Let's see if I can get it. Bear with me a second. Again, if you're watching the stream and you enjoy what you're seeing, please make sure you like it. That'd be greatly appreciated. Like the stream down below. That'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you're watching the stream live, make sure to flip in like the stream as you're enjoying it make sure you do that be greatly appreciated for the kid for the boy for your pal for your cody and all of that good 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 stuff 